Hello everybody. I thought I'd do a final follow-up thing to my dolls video because I found a folder containing the ones that I let go. The ones that I sold and having a look through them it's very sad and I wish I hadn't. I really wish I had not sold them so unless you're in dire straits I advise you not to do what I have done because you might regret it as I do. Anyway let's just go through them. This fine lady here upon her horse is apparently Anna. Um, I think I must have had some sort of girl thing about horses and, and, and so forth from reading books like uh, Jill's Jim Carner or something because I knew nothing, nothing about horses whatsoever. Probably didn't see one until I was about 18 or something. <laughs> anyway, in person, that is. Uh, yeah, and I I had a bit of a thing when I when I came to look at my dolls again as an adult, and I thought it had a kind of tenuous connection with hunting. And did I really want to have this? And this poor girl has nothing to do with hunting at all. But anyway, I let her go. That is Anna. I don't know what else. She has an A here on her. Try and get that to not make that horrible feedback on the video. There we go. Um, yes, there is an A here on the horse blanket. <laughs> there you go. Maybe you know more about her than I do. This was some of her clothing, which I didn't particularly care for. Anna and Happy Time is the horse. I don't know how rare these things are or whether they're very common. I was quite surprised when I looked at them again because I didn't really remember them that well. And that was still in its packet, so that was pretty good. It's got a price on it up there, but I can't see it. It's playground £1.50, I think. There you go. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to just whiz through that with some Pippa furniture. Pippa's bathroom. I wish I hadn't sold that. Pippa's lounge, but we couldn't fit it in the lounge because it was rather crowded. If, when I was a child, my dad made me sort of extra add-on bits to my Pippa's house, which were made out of cardboard boxes, the idea of which he got off Blue Peter. But he did a really good job. So I had extra bits of house, but of course they fell, fell apart. So I had nowhere to put these extra pieces of furniture. Oh, now we're back to a riding outfit. I think this is Pippa's. I'm not entirely sure, so we'll skip on. And there's a rosette there. Very nice. Here is Gale doll. I'll show you her in more detail in a bit, but this was the rare Gale doll that I sold. Well, I sold all of these things, obviously. And a horse, which I don't know whose horse that was. Obviously, Gale is a Pippa friend. We will come back to her. So I sold this lovely thing. Again, red hunting jacket. Didn't like that, so got rid of that. I can see why I got rid of that, yes. There's Pippa and her horse in her riding outfit. The horse, that's Gail in her riding outfit. And Pippa in her riding outfit. I think I'm going to have to show you a bit closer because it's not coming out terribly well. There you go, I've kept that Pippa, so just not the outfit. And the horse again. Oh, now, you're going to think I'm some sort of really horrible racist person. But when you go through these the rest of these clips, you will see that I sold dolls that were not black. It was not because I had some sort of problem. I thought they went together. And you know why I didn't like them? They looked too 70s. That was my only prejudice against them. They just both of them looked too 70s to me in their outfits and the, and 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 the ladies i think her name's dale hairstyle i just thought well if i'm going to sell them and they should be together as a pair a fine pair of 70s people not because i did not like their color that would be just not me whatsoever so that's van the man and dale so lovely couple hope they're happy somewhere together Sorry about this feedbacky effect on my cat on my screen there. There they are again. There. They're very fine. I wish I'd have kept them. But there you go. I could have changed their clothes, couldn't I? Good grief. There is Anna in the box that she got sold in with her extra outfit and everything. Lucky person that got that. This is <laughs> this is the Gale doll. And this is Pippa in the bedroom furniture. Pippa's bedroom furniture that I sold, including all the nightwear and everything else. Ugh, wish I hadn't. 
Yes, a couple of nurses' outfits for Pippa sized dolls. These were great, they had little clipboards, but I couldn't really see myself dressing them in nurses' outfits. Majorette outfits. I actually had some Majorette dolls. The Dawn Doll Modeling Agency had Majorettes, which <laughs> unfortunately, one of their arms was permanently up in the air. So they had one arm down and one arm up so that they looked like they were going to twirl a baton, which I think they had a baton and you could kind of twiddle their arm and it went round like they were doing the baton thing, like a majorette. And this was their outfits and I didn't really like the one arm up dolls, so they went too. And so did their a bit glitzy dresses, which didn't terribly appeal to me. But again, I wish I'd kept them, but I didn't. If you're the person that has them, I hope you're enjoying them. See, I got rid of dolls that weren't black before you start accusing me of anything in your head because you can't comment um yes and that's because of my pain issues and nothing else uh right this is one of the dawn modeling agency dolls in a full tennis outfit with a little bag i love the attention to detail i didn't keep her because i didn't really see that i was ever going to have a tennis type scenario all the only place I've got to store my pepper sized dolls is the, re the remaining bit of the house and I didn't really see her standing in there with that but again I wish I kept her and her nursey friend over there because they're great and I probably could never replace them and there she is again such great outfits and there's three nurses that I got I got I sold and um, yeah wish I hadn't lovely and again they're from the dawn model agency <sighs> i think that this i didn't like these particularly because they all had hair that reminded me of when i was a child short and curly and flattering to them but terribly unflattering to me anyway moving on uh now i'm just going to whiz through these these are some of the outfits i got rid of because they're just so ghastly because i hate the 70s so much and uh well the early part of the early and mid 70s Certainly, up until 1976, when punk happened, I was not very enamoured of all this disco lark. So, I think this is a Cindy outfit, which, again, I did not like for those reasons. It's just so damn 70s and horrid material. Not quite sure. Maybe somebody could identify this. I don't even know what size doll that fitted. But it looked a bit kind of bridesmaidy or something. I couldn't really see any reason to keep it ah what are they kind of capes and caft <laughs> cap a, a duet of caftans how absolutely charming well yes i didn't even have to explain why i got rid of those or are they beach things i don't know and this is just i think this is a pippa sized yes it is because i can tell by the shoes pippa sized outfit i don't know whether it's a genuine pippa or a clone pippa or whatever maybe somebody can recognize it i think it might be genuine because it has that kind of look about it but I didn't like it. It's so 70s. Sorry about the feedback on my screen again. Interference, whatever you want to call it. Three, <laughs> three tank tops. No, <laughs> a wardrobe. I should have kept that. Would have been quite nice, but I didn't. It's not an original Cindy or anything. It was probably just sold for a Cindy type doll. Another item of Pippa furniture that I couldn't fit in. I think that's those majorette dresses again. They're really nice, but you know, you can't really wear a majorette dress unless you're being a majorette. And they're horrible, shiny material that I didn't like. There's another, oh, there's a set of gold lame hot pants there. You can understand that I might not have found those terribly appealing. And a silver, shiny disco dress. No. Uh, I wish I'd have kept that, that's quite cute. I think I probably took offence to the material again, but it's a little cape for pepper sized dolls. Again, a pepper jacket. I think that's an original pepper top and skirt, but I think I just thought it was rather boring. Or so. I don't know, I can't explain what was going on in my head when I sold all those things. Those trousers were slightly too wide. <laughs> I didn't like them. Uh, yeah, that was nice. I should have kept that. That was a nice cotton tartan dress, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Two headless uh, Dawn model agency dolls. Oh dear. That would they would have been quite useful to keep, but I did not. There's another tennis outfit. Look at the little tennis racket in its press. It's gorgeous. I think that's another Cindy. 
you probably know more about these than I do. And you're probably thinking again, how did you have so many things? I don't know. I just had extremely kind and generous parents and I didn't do a lot else in my life, <laughs> except for, uh, I didn't go to clubs or go out or do anything. I just had these dolls really. So <laughs> please don't, please don't blame me too harshly for having all these things. I did look after, look how well I looked after them. I, I treasured them, even though I actually found this rather repulsive. It's so 70s. Again, ooh, no, no, not for me. I don't know, just a white blouse. Uh, ah, <laughs> ooh. I mean, that's a fantastic set. But yuck, for my tastes, it's yuck anyway. Here she is. This is the rare Gale doll, who looks incredibly like Brit. Pippa's friend Brit, but she is actually Gail. I can't remember how much I sold her for, but she was worth more than the usual, and she has her original dress. If I'd have had the shoes as well, I would have been doing even better. I mean, she's lovely. I should have kept her, but I didn't. And there she is again. Sorry, the photographs aren't brilliant. I don't know exactly how I could tell that that wasn't a Brit and it was a Gail. I have no idea. Maybe it was by the dress. I'm not sure. And again, oh, here's a collective picture of some of the girls in the house, uh, including some outfits that I got rid of that are no longer there. But that's a, a little view of them in their, in their habitat. What else have we got? And again, that's rather sweet. Pippa and the Dawn dolls together. I'm in the kitchen. You can see the kitchen a bit better. I'm not sure whether that was two Brits or the Brit and the Gale because the one of them's kind of they've both sort of got similar Brit outfits. Anyway, I've only got one Brit now, so I don't know. Maybe that was the Gale. Who can tell? I can't. And again, there we are. They're lovely, aren't they? They really are lovely. And again, another view of them. Oh, here, I got, I got rid, I, sh I sold the sports car. I am a fool. Yes, I know. It was very nice, but um, sports cars and me didn't, uh, didn't really, I don't know. I'm not really sport car type person, but I should have kept it. Uh, who's, who have we here? We've got my Canterbury patch. We've got Action Girl. We've got Tressie and we have my Cindy wearing her air hostess outfit. Hope you can see that. My Daisy wearing the Lola outfit. Aha! This is my fabulous American Mattel Barbie that I sold. This is probably my biggest regret because look how fabulous she was. I can't say she was, she was, she was either late fifties or sixties. She's just absolutely fantastic and perfect because I didn't play with them. I just kind of organized them. So yeah, anyway, we'll come back to her. Another Pippa outfit, probably didn't like the, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I didn't like. Eh, pair of flares for Pippa, no. I should have kept that, that's rather sweet. That's a lovely Pippa outfit. This is a Daisy outfit, again, I should have kept this. Mary Quant Daisy, full outfit with the necklace, shoes and bag and everything. I think that was called Fru Fru. It's gone, sadness. These are a bit boring. I don't know who that belonged to. It's very square. Don't know. Don't know whose that was or where it came from, but there you go. It's gone now. This is another Mary Quant Daisy outfit. I wish I'd kept it. It's rather lovely, but I didn't. That's a patch. I had a I had two of those, so I sold that one. Patch blazer. Patch towel. Cindy's sister patch, that is. Cindy sister patch skirt, Cindy sister patch tobogganing jacket. Uh, this came from a disco doll. I'm not sure. Can't remember. I don't know why I just had the top because I haven't got the doll. Uh, Domino disco girls. Obviously that didn't appeal to me terribly much. Not only because she has that hairstyle that I'm not terribly enamored of, but it's seventies disco. Not for me. Oh dear. That's just like a piece of wallpaper made into a coat. So it's very sweet, get a bag with it and everything, but no, that's gone, the shoes. Pippa outfit with shoes, wish I kept. Oh, definitely wish I kept this. This is Mary Quant Daisy. You've got a pair of trousers and 
blazer, a velvet skirt and a leotard and a little bag and two hangers. I wish I had kept that what was going through my head when I sold it. I have no idea. Pippa shorts. This is the back of my Mattel Barbie. She was so fabulous. Wow. I mean, she just was perfect. Perfect condition. And stylish. Extremely stylish. My mum got her from a shop called Blackler's, which is no longer there. Very special. Very, very special. But I sold her because I'm an idiot, as I probably said about ten times now. She came with this little fur coat and this lovely dress and this pair of stockings. So I think it was 50s or 60s. And she had earrings in. I don't know whether you can see them, but she did. She was wearing earrings. She was just absolutely fabulous. I hope whoever has her now is loving her. Uh, I think they're original Cindy skirts, but I didn't know that at the time. So I got rid of them probably very cheaply. I'm not sure who that belongs to or that one or that. This is Sweet April, who I sold because I don't really do baby dolls. But she's kind of sweet, I suppose, because she's April, sweet April. Yeah, she came in this little seat swing thing. There it is. Yeah, not really my thing. Um, not sure. Boring. Ew! Plaid trousers, duet, horrid, horrid dress. Nice, quite, quite interesting sort of op art dress type, but... I think that was a pair of culottes and I didn't really get it so uh, I should have kept them that's the whole patch set that I was selling not sure what that is I think that was an original Cindy again I didn't know until it was too late and it's gone some Cindy shoes um, this is lovely a nightwear set bra little slip pants uh, whatever you call it my mum used to call them house coats, so we'll call it a house coat and a night dress, and that was rather nice, but probably made of a nylon y material that I found offensive. Oh, that's just grotesque. This was an original patch mamzelle, really rare dress, and I sold it. Uh can we say idiot again? I think we can. That's one of my patches wearing her water wings outfit. And selection of some girls. This I don't know. She is a Cindy of some description. Um, I can't remember anything about this doll at all. I didn't even... Maybe somebody knows. That was... I don't know. Is that a Pippa bag? or No, was that a patch bag? I think that might have been a patch bag that was actually worth... Very collectible. Stupid me. Some Tressy rollers and clips. Should have kept those. A Cindy skirt. Should have kept that. Cindy hanger. Should have kept them. Cindy K. Should have kept that. <laughs> I think that's Barbie, but not perhaps not very uh, not not of the same era as the other Barbie, but still should have kept. Now this was I should have definitely kept. Um, the the stripy thing was what my Canterbury patch came in, and I think that's pretty rare. I sold it. The little hat that's very rare. I sold it. The Cindy top and the Cindy jumper all gone. This is quite painful for me looking back. Uh, Pippa's electric guitar, Pippa's golf club, a poodle, a bag and a pair of Pippa boots. Oh, foul. Uh, Pippa case. Two more. Uh, Dawn model agency or clone, perhaps clone dolls. Proving once more that I'm not racist about the dolls that I sell. <laughs> Just happens to be the ones that... Oh, I had. That's... <laughs> Are we getting interference again? Uh, we've had that dress, haven't we? An umbrella, a rain hat and a bag should have kept. Pippa raincoat and boots should have kept. There's the another things of patch there should have kept. Tressy dress should have kept. Not quite sure. Yeah, there's that Cindy doll. She's kind of small and she's wearing a ballet outfit and she's got jointed limbs. I just don't know anything about her at all. Unless she was a clone of Cindy. I just don't know. That's... Uh, interesting but 270s that's a cindy tights another tank top only in leatherette didn't quite know what to do with that so i sold it i wish i've kept that though that was a nice cotton thing quite pleasant boots uh don't know i think we'll just whiz through these now and finish the girls at home 
wearing some of the clothes that I got rid of. Girls at home again and again and again and some of my girls again. In the middle there you can see my Canterbury patch and the other type of patch. Could have finished now because they're on 20. Okay I think that's it. There's another Cindy with his flares on. Uh, yeah, we'll stop now. Thanks for watching. Bye. There won't be any more. <laughs> That's the end now. Toodle pip.